Welcome to the Awakened Goddess Show, your source for inspiration, wisdom, and personal discovery. The place to learn from a diverse mix of mentors, metaphysical experts, spiritual leaders, and best-selling authors from around the world. I'm your host, Angela Wilkinson. Join me as I explore the minds of my masterful guests while they share powerful insights and easy-to-use tools you can start using right away. Now, let's tap into the energy of the Awakened Goddess and be enlightened by today's guest. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the Awaken Goddess Show, where we co-create powerful, conscious conversations on the leading edge. My name is Angela Wilkinson, and I am so thrilled to have you here with me today. We're going to be talking about five playful ways to step out of your comfort zone, because you and I know we all have something that scares the bleep out of us, right? <laughs> Stepping into and really putting ourselves out there in our personal lives, our professional lives. And um, thank you for joining me on this journey because <clears throat> today actually kicks off some really cool things. This is the first episode of season eight of the show. Woohoo! <laughs> that is really awesome. Uh, so today is 192 episodes. So the show has actually been running a little bit longer as a podcast, um, but in TV terms, in episodes, we're about um, eight seasons. Yeah, eight seasons. And today also marks my very first live solo show. Yay! I feel like I need to have like a key that that puts on the clapping and the audience and the cheering. <laughs> so I'm just imagining this in my head right now. <laughs> the cow goes wild. <laughs> yes. So um, this is actually something that um, you'll, you'll notice. Doing the interview type show, my quirky personality, my witty, funny, random side doesn't necessarily come out. So you're going to see me probably act all kinds of strange. So we'll just see what happens. So let's dive into the topic. Getting out of your comfort zone. Hey, I see lots of great comments. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> and I will talk about the, co or I'll mention comments. I'll give you guys a shout out towards the end of the show. But I want to dive in because it's really important for me to know that you are getting value from your time here. Uh, showing up a Sunday morning, I know it's, uh, you know, we all want to sleep in, right? <laughs> but um, yeah, so let's talk about the comfort zone. Oh my goodness. Comfort zone, it keeps us safe, it keeps us small, and it keeps us from really showing up and, and being who we truly are and, and sharing our unique gifts and talents. And, you know, um, if you're on a conscious spiritual path or just you're conscious in general, you know that you're here for a reason. You have something to share. And not just in your business or in the work that you do, but also just as a human being. You have a soul, uh, a spirit to share and to connect with other people. And I love that as I say soul and spirit, my whole body just like gets, I have these goosebumps and I'm totally activated. Um, because really that's why we're here. We're here to experience being human and experience feelings and and have experiences that really test us, <laughs> test us. And um, that darn comfort zone really can keep us stuck and small. Thank you, Regina. I love the shout out. Um, so I wanted to keep this really fun because stepping out of your comfort zone is something that none of us want to do. Um, so you know, on this show, I, I just can't help myself. I want to kind of, I, you know, I start the show by saying conscious conversations on the leading edge. I want you to stretch yourself. I want to help you really become who you ultimately are at your true essence self. I want you to show up in a big way. And um, this is a path I too am walking uh, I'm walking right next to you, and life is an experiment. 
Um, so stepping in your comfort zone, yeah, none of us want to do it. It's scary. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel comfortable. But we can take our control back, take our power back, and set things up so that we have support for ourselves. So the first playful way to get out of your comfort zone is giving yourself permission to make mistakes. I don't know about you, but I am absolutely my worst critic. Raise your hand if that's you, <laughs> because I know I'm not the only one. You know, we it's like we project all of these negative thoughts and feelings and things onto other people and imagine that that's what they're thinking about us. And that really sucks. So we kind of really are hard on ourselves. I mean, honestly, we are so hard on ourselves. And um, sure, it's important to show up and, and do things to your best ability, not just, you know, just half-ass it, um, but really allowing yourself to recognize that there really is no such thing as perfect. If you're perfect, no one likes you, really. <laughs> you're not a fun person to be around. People can't relate to you. And I am the first person to admit, I have been so, most of my life, I have been striving for perfection. And um, even with creating my set, my new set for the show, um, if you asked people that helped me put this together, they would say, oh my gosh, she is such a perfectionist <laughs> because I am wanting to create an experience, not just for you, but for myself. It's really important that I um, surround myself with things that I love. And we're going to get to that. But this thing about being perfect, again, people don't want to deal or work with people that are perfect because that leaves no room for them to show up as their authentic self. So if you're not able to kind of shed those, those layers of, I need to be perfect, I need to be in control of everything, then you're not leaving room for other people to show up either. And so to take that, I mean, that's a huge weight that you can take off of your shoulders. Letting yourself make mistakes and just kind of go in um, preparing to do your best, but also expecting that something can and could possibly go wrong. Now, I have my lights set up. I mean, they're the most jankiest thing, how I have them set up. So non-professional. And any of the things could fall down at any moment. <laughs> but, you know, whoops, you just roll with it. And that's the thing about life. We just have to go in knowing that we are doing our best. And to take that pressure off because we don't need to be so hard on ourselves. No one is perfect. You just do your best and move on. So, all right, let's move on to the second one. So the second one is about experimenting. Kind of goes along with the first one. Being able to experiment and test things out and know that, um, again, it doesn't have to be perfect the first time. You just try things out and and pivot you know shift and and see how things feel and and um kind of you know test things out a little bit see try something Ooh, does it it was that too much was it too little can i go further um how did that work did i like it did it suck <laughs> and again you're when you approach stepping out of your comfort zone and doing something new, facing something that you've been avoiding, and you relax in and you say, you know, I'm just going to try this out. And if I don't like it, I can change my mind. You know, sometimes we kind of back ourselves into a corner and, and think, oh, well, I've committed to this. So now I have to, I have to keep, keep moving forward. Well, that's not necessarily the case. So taking, taking the approach of, um, like, for example, 
this show, if I, if I do this live show, this solo show, and I'm like, ooh, I didn't like that. Well, I don't have to keep doing it this way. <laughs> and you're in control. You're in control of your decisions and, and what you decide to do. But the most important thing is listening to those inner, inner nudges and those, if you have something that keeps kind of pushing you like your intuition or you're getting that internal nudge you know step into this this is something you need to do there is something there for you and yes it's scary but we that's how we grow and that's how we show up in a bigger way uh, we're not here we're not dropped on the planet perfect and ready to go we have life lessons we have things to explore and so when you approach life from seeing it as an experiment it makes it much more easy and more fun <sighs> right okay so the third way to playfully step outside your comfort zone and step into something new is by surrounding yourself with things that support you so now this can be people that love you, people that have your best interest in, at, at heart. Um, and, and, you know, let's talk about this for a second, because it's really important that you are mindful and aware of the people that you surround yourself with. Sometimes it seems like we can get addicted to people that make us feel like crap. <laughs> they um, reinforce the belief that we have about ourselves. Most of us have this belief that we're not good enough. Many women or many people have a belief that they're unworthy or they don't deserve. A lot of people have the, the need to make things hard or they believe that life has to be hard or they have to struggle to get what they want. And you want to make sure that you're not surrounding yourself with people that um, reinforce that because that's gonna just keep you stuck. So by surrounding yourself with people who love and support you, they want to see you succeed. You know, um, what do I wanna say here? Yeah, just surround yourself with people that want to see you succeed because they're going to cheer you on, they're going to help bolster you, help support you, they're gonna give you uh, feedback and help you navigate this new experience and this new experience I mean like I said we all have our thing we all have our one big thing that that you know right now that you could really benefit by stepping into whether that's starting a new business uh, asking for help um, going out and starting dating again um, starting doing live, live video or doing videos for your, your business, showing up in a bigger way. Um, we all have that something. And so again, surround yourself with people that really support you. And then I touched on this, um, a little bit ago, really important, surround yourself with things that support you, like those creature comforts. So just to give you a little behind the scenes, I have my water here. I'm going to take a sip. I have my, this is going to be funny. I have my hot tea. <laughs> I have fresh flowers. I have a little stone, like, you know, those little worry stones. I have all these things around me that, that support me that I absolutely love. In front of me, I've created a, I have a whiteboard with some notes in case I totally like <laughs> go off in left field and lose track. So surrounding yourself with all of these things that help, help you take those next steps. It's like a safety net. You know, when I look at the flowers, I feel supported. I have my water for when I get thirsty and I, my throat feels dry. 
I have this hot warm cup of tea because it's nice to hold on to and it, it's kind of like a, a safety blanket or a um, what do you call those little little baby blankets that children have <laughs> that they don't want to ever let go of but things like that um, I made sure that I have a nice pillow behind my back so I'm supported in my back I had um, I asked for help I, I put this out to my community and I asked people to show up and support me so these are things that you can do you can set yourself up that um, through the process, as you um, step into this new thing outside your comfort zone, you can um, support yourself in ways that make you feel good. To kind of help you help uh, remove or eliminate or reduce the stress or the anxiety or the fear or anything like that. Another amazing thing that uh, I did last week on the show, which if you watched, you know, or if you listened, you enjoyed that. I did some tapping with Karen Brzezanski, and that was fabulous. Absolutely amazing. And, you know, I, I, I did it a few times. And if, if anxiety, um, if you're human and you have anxiety around stepping into this new thing, um, something like tapping or energy work can really help support you in um, taking those next steps. So another thing that um, that kind of lends right into this, the fourth uh, step or the, the way that you can step into or out of your comfort zone playfully is breaking that big thing down into small steps. So, you know, a really obvious example would be like, you're not going to run a marathon just like overnight. You're not going to sign up and, and start running and, you know, finish fabulously, right? So how do you break that down? Well, the first step, if if doing a marathon would be outside of your comfort zone, you put on your shoes. <laughs> you buy shoes that would work for a marathon. You don't just assume that you're going to take this whole big scary thing and do it all at once, right? For this show, I did a little, I did a few um, Facebook Live. I did live shows, little mini shows um, leading up to this. Did some behind the scenes, showed the, the new set. Um, so I could start getting comfortable. I did little test runs. And um, I, I, you actually can do it privately so no one can see. <laughs> so you can do things like that. If for you, stepping out of your comfort zone is that you really feel like you want to start dating again, well, you know, something you could do really simply is is looking at the different apps or different um, dating sites, you know, just kind of dipping your toe in the in the water and and recognizing what what the little pieces are, what are those little steps to this larger goal? If you want to travel and you uh, have this this idea of you know where you want to go, but uh, it scares you the thought of going by yourself, well, break it down, break it down. So you you take again, you take your power back and you make it something fun. So breaking it down into the little pieces helps helps you uh, absorb it easier. Um, so yeah, like with this show, I was getting really, really excited. You know, the anxiety was there. I did the tapping, reduced the anxiety, and then I was able to break it down and look at, oh, wow, this actually is really exciting. This is something I've been feeling called to do for a couple of years now. And how, you know, what is the, you know, how am I going to feel after I do this? And, and same thing for you. When you step into that, that thing, that scary thing, and you achieve it, or even if you start taking those steps and, and you try something out, something, anytime you stretch your comfort zone, you're going to feel amazing. You're going to feel like, I don't know about you, but when I do something like this and I really challenge myself and, and move past my fear or my anxiety, 
later after this show, I'm going to be like skipping around. I'm going to have so much energy. I'm going to just, because, you know, we're, we're allowing this source energy, energy to channel through us, whatever you're, whatever you're doing, when you, um, when you step into something new, you're expanding your, your energy field. You're allowing yourself to express bigger energetically. And so you're allowing that energy to flow through you. Okay, so that was the fourth step, breaking it down into smaller pieces. And then the fifth way to make it playful, this goes back to your support system, creating a way that you have accountability, having some, uh, like maybe scheduling, putting it in your calendar, telling people, say, you know what, this is what I'm going to be doing. And you know, I need you to hold my hand, or I, I, I really need your support. I would love your support to make sure I follow through with this. Because when you make, especially if you put it out publicly, if you say, hey, this is what I'm doing, then there is a part of you that knows that, you know, you really got to show up. And so what is it that you can do that um, is going to help you give you that structure so you know that, okay, I ha it's time. I got I to gotta take that little step. Because here's the thing. If you're anything like me, if you're human and you are avoiding the, this, this edge of the comfort zone, you'll have these ideas. Oh, yes, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start dating. I'm going to do that. You know, I'm going to do that soon. Well, that just keeps getting pushed further and further and further away, right? So unless we have something scheduled or we have that accountability, we have somebody that's checking in with us and saying, hey, have you done that yet? Then it's just going to be, we're going to just naturally keep putting it off. So that is a, a fun way that you can kind of give yourself a deadline and say, you know what, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it out there and you know, you just, you just gotta dive in, um, and, and make sure afterwards that you have, maybe you set something up so you reward yourself. You know, for me, I'm really excited later today, I'm going to make some salad rolls. Woo. I know that may not be exciting to some people, but I'm really excited about that. <laughs> and so I, it's like, oh, okay, well, Angela, you did a great job. You stepped in, you showed up, you did your best. You know, something may or may not go wrong and whoops, oh well, move on. And, but hey, good job. Even if you're, you don't reach your final destination, taking the time to celebrate yourself anytime you step out of your comfort zone. Because when you do that, you're, you're reinforcing your your ability to take your power back and step in and show up in a bigger way. Like I said, this is not easy. None of us want to jump into that that scary place. But what do they say? Uh, fear is excitement without breath. And you can, you can take that anxiety, that fear, that, ah, that scary part, and you can shift it. And these playful ways are things that you can do to help support yourself, to give you that structure, to allow yourself to play and screw up and not be perfect and try things out. And when you step in and you realize the world does not end or, you know, you're not dead, you're not hurt, <laughs> then you realize, oh, okay, so I can do this. I can step into maybe something else or I can step a little bit further out outside of my comfort zone. Because if you are truly being called to do something and you keep getting that nudge, there is great reward on the other side. And not just the little rewards that you set up for yourself, but a true internal um, soul level reward. And so take the time 
you know, we, most of us do not celebrate enough. And so taking the time to really honor yourself and celebrate your success, even if something went wrong, just the, the fact that you stepped in and you put yourself out there, even if it's the tiniest bit, then celebrate it. Reward yourself. Take care of yourself. Because, yeah, you, you have to, we are ultimately here, we're all, all one, right? When we look at this, this big uh, consciousness field of energy, we're all one. But we're also on this planet in this 3D reality, we're all by ourselves. And so anything you can do to help support yourself in really stepping out and becoming your full conscious, authentic, true self, then that's a beautiful thing. Ooh, wow. Ooh, this was kind of fun. <laughs> I feel like this is like church, church on Sunday. So I would love to know. I saw lots of comments come up. So let's see what we have here. All right. So I think there is a way for me to pop these little comments up here. So let me, I'm going to, I'm going to be imperfect and I'm going to look down and I'm going to test these little <laughs> keys out to try to figure out which thing I, I can, ah, there we go. Okay. So here we go. Let's see what we have. I'm so glad you were all here. I so appreciate it. <laughs> oh, let's see. Okay. So let's see. Joy said, here you go. Hooray. You always said such profound tips and knowledge love everything you do angela thank you <laughs> yes 192 episodes amazing yes i think so too it it's been week after week been showing up and uh, as much as i love i've so much loved interviewing people from around the world and really exploring all parts of spirituality and consciousness and and all that cool stuff um but you know what it was time i People in my inner circle were telling me, you know, Angela, it's, you need to really show up bigger. You need to be out there more. You need to show your expertise. But Angela was hiding. Oh, well. But now it's time. All right. So let's see. Susan Carter, thank you. Awesome. Congrats. Oh, love your little picture of your doggy there. Oh, thank you, Regina. She says... Hi, Angela. Love your show. Hi. <clears throat> and what else? You said you push us and I love it. Oh, good. I, you know, that that was a, a little fear I have, you know, because I'm not a lot of people like to be pushed. You know, everybody likes to stay safe and small. And, and I, that's why I'm here. I, as much as I would love to be a, a light and fluffy kind of person, I end up going deep all the time and I, 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 I have to embrace it. That's why I'm here. I am a catalyst for people to really kind of <clears throat> move you forward and, and push your boundaries and, and help kind of be that little mama bird and push you out of the nest. <clears throat> so she, Regina said, I have grown so much and listen all the time. Yay. I'm so happy. Pascal said, great start. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's see who else. And Joyce said, by putting yourself in the hot seat and seeing how well you handle your hectic life is an inspiration to me. You set such a good example. Thank you. All right. And Regina said, you've got high vibes going on. Love it. Thank you. And Susan said, you're in... You're inspirational. Thanks for the reminder about acknowledging my small steps outside of your comfort zone. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, life is hard enough. We don't need to um, keep beating ourselves up. <laughs> so, all right. So this wraps up this part of the show. So I thank you all for joining me. And I'm going to now head on over to the Awakened Goddess Insiders. It's our members community. And um, if you're not yet a member, you can definitely join us. Uh, there's a link, theawakengoddess.com forward slash join. Would love to have you because if you like the show and you like to, you like 
help kind of being pushed a little bit, um, we're going to go deeper. Where I, I'm going to take this conversation deeper, talk about more tips, um, do some Q&A, private coaching. So um, if you're not a part of our Awaken Goddess show, it's like I'm, I'm, I'm playing with the idea of calling it Goddess Lifestyle School. You know, all those things that help you become more of an awakened goddess. So if you're not a part of that yet, I would love to have you join us. So, um, <laughs> yes. So I love you all and thank you for show showing up and supporting me today. And next week, I can't wait to see what we talk about. So, um, yeah. Much love and have a beautiful week. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Awakened Goddess Show. I hope you enjoyed today's guest and got something you can start using in your life right away. For more spiritual insights and to listen to more episodes, subscribe to The Awakened Goddess Show at theawakenedgoddess.com and discover wisdom that'll change your life.